out there and do those things you can do. Right? Paige is all nerves right now. I think she's nervous about what Abby's gonna do when she realizes that we changed the choreography once she goes on stage. I love Paige. So this is Paige, Junior Miss Next Star contestant. Paige does what I gave her. She's gonna beat Kendall. school talent show. Then it clicked. Oh, I guess mommy choreographed the routine. I think Kelly just cost her kid the crown. She's rolling around, her feet are all sickled underneath her. She does the cartwheel over the chair into a side area. Her legs are bent, feet are sloppy. Kelly, you're much more successful at the real bar, not the ballet bar. Stick to what you do best. <laughs> I am so proud of Paige. She went against Abby and did the dance that she wanted to do, and I think that takes a lot of courage. I like the solo that my mom changed, and I think I did it well, but I know that Abby's gonna be mad. Paige is going directly against Kendall for the title. Will she win now? Not with those new moves from your mom, Kelly. Up next, we have entry number 442, Kendall, a junior Miss Next Star contestant. My mom wants me to prove to Kathy that I'm a good dancer and I can beat Abby's. on stage for her solo. The music comes on and it starts to skip immediately. I see the fear in her little eyes. Kendall's not gonna stop. She's gonna dance this number, but I know her fear is the music, she's not on point, and her number's a mess. watching Kendall's dance and it's very flatlined. Kendall has taken none of the corrections that I have given her. She's not performing, she's not sharp, she is definitely not making eye contact with the judges. Her solo is just mundane. My former student Kendall is a beautiful little girl, but the Kendall that stepped out on that stage and did that number was certainly not the kid that I've trained. She was a hot mess. What did Kathy have her doing? All I know is she's wasting a whole lot of time in a car driving to Ohio when she could be in my studio training. Let's face it, Jill, big mistake. Big. Jill, it's not a big deal when something like that happens because I'll tell you why. To whom? It's, it's not a big no. deal. To a nine-year-old little girl or to... Well, you, no. did, you didn't let me finish. Okay. Had Kathy taken a little more time with Kendall, none of this would have happened. I know. You can't humiliate her over and over and I over again. I know. I know. What I is know. wrong? I know. <laughs> Better let her do it's that. Not, it's not your fault. I'm starting to think that Kathy took us in only despite Abby. She's not a good candy apple. She didn't fit in at all. She's too pushy and too opinionated, and she thinks her kid is way better than she really is. It's the truth of the matter. We all know that Jill is a studio hopper. If it's not happening now, she's walking around whining. Is she truly one of my apples? Not really. She's definitely an outsider looking in. She's just a little girl who wants to dance. Abby can't freaking look at her. Kathy could care less about her. No one cares about the kid. This isn't what it's all about. You went up on stage, you did what mommy told you to do, and you were fabulous. Right? I'm sitting with Paige, 
She's upset, she thinks Abby's gonna be mad. And as a mom, that's really hard. You know, do I let my kid follow her dreams and try to achieve something bigger in life? Or do I let her just sit behind and not have her dance teacher be mad at her? Abby said at Pyramid, for you to work on it yourself, that she wasn't helping. So that's what you did. Mm -hmm. That's you, true. You that's took exactly. her, that, is that not that's what she exactly said? That's exactly what she said. Absolutely. So you followed her directions, and you and your mother worked on it. And we didn't like a few things weren't working out in the dance, so we changed Absolutely. them. Absolutely. That's it. I know the storm is coming. I can feel it. And I'm going to be caught up in a whirlwind of just, I don't even know. Hey, what were you doing out there? I wanted to talk to Paige about her routine to find out what she was doing on that stage. As soon as she started, it was like the wrong pose on the chair. I'm like, what is she doing out there? Well, you told her to work on it herself, so we worked on it at home. Paige, you have to realize that when you're kind of up for a title, you want to do a flawless routine. Maybe her teacher should work with her more, and then we'll do the dance that you choreograph. Kelly, stop with the we. It's not about you. It's about Paige. You have to trust that I know what I'm doing. Paige's goal was to go out and do a dance that she felt like she was pushing herself. What was wrong with the dance that I choreographed? And besides your mother's opinion, what, what else? Because I did easy steps. Because you do easy steps? I just wanted to be like challenged more. I was so proud of Paige for sticking up for herself. She actually spoke to Abby and said, you know, I didn't like the choreography. It was too easy. You can't send her for a title and not have anything in it. The things that she put in it were a mess. If she doesn't challenge herself, she's never going to get better at anything. I don't want to put her on the stage making her do things she's not ready to do. I want her to do what she does well. Is she capable of more? Absolutely. But what I gave her was clean, and it would have clearly beat Kendall. She went behind my back, she threw stuff in it, and you, as a parent, condoned it. How dare you? This is my name out there, and as much as you and Christy and everybody else wants to think, it's your kid, it's your kid, it's your kid, you know what? It's not. You don't go behind somebody's back. Don't raise your kid to be a sneak, Kelly. This is all Kelly's fault. I blame the parent, not the child. Don't cry. I'm heartbroken because I'm the one that helped her change her dance. Don't be sad. I'm sorry, it's mommy's fault. I'm the one that made you change it. <laughs> We're gonna do the top 10. Next star division, nine to 11 solos. I'm anxious about these awards. There is lots of talent here. 10th place, 426, it's Little Me. <laughs> Seventh place, 448, is Tongue Twister. Paige ends up seventh place. Kelly is gonna be beaming. Come on, Kelly, seventh place. Sixth place, 416, Angry Bird. Chloe gets called six for her solo, and I'm thrilled for her. I thought six was great. Paige actually got one step below Chloe with my choreography. And our highest scoring nine to 11 soloist in the next star division will be. That Kendall? better not be first place. There is no way that she's going to win and beat my girls with that performance. 428, Roxy. Kendall wasn't up there at all. So I guess Paige and I did pretty good.